Well, I think the first thing that I found out, the first question to answer was, were there slaves at Blunt Mansion? And there were. We found evidence of that in the county courthouse records. And through other letters and diaries and other documents in the court records and that sort of thing, we were able to establish about eight to ten people that we think probably lived on this property at the time that the Blunts did between 1792 and 1800. Uh, but just to give you um, a little introduction to this space, uh, this, this has been used before as a room, but we're not really sure, uh, you know, what, was, what it was used for. It might have been Wiley Blunt's bedroom. We think he might have lived here for a while. We think that maybe um, that one of the head slaves would have lived down here. We're not really quite sure. Uh, who would have lived here, but it had a fireplace and uh, certainly it had livable conditions. Now, as Lisa mentioned, this is an addition onto the house, and so when the Blunts actually lived here, it, this part would not have existed. But uh, we can't bring guests into the cellar where the, of the Blunts' house. I mean, you can stand up in there, but it's really, it's, it's got a lot of, um, it's one of those dirt cellars. But anyway, <laughs> We have uh, worked hard to interpret this space because we thought it was important to have a space that represented the stories of the slaves. Um, a few years after I did my research, I did my research in 1990, so it's been a few years back, but there's since been um, work and research done on the house itself and how it was constructed and in what, in what periods, as well as an archaeologist, um, Charles Faulkner, who's now retired from the University of Tennessee, did archaeological research. And the area where we are now, which is kind of the back corner, of the original Blunt property. Um, he did archaeological work and was able to find the slave quarters and evidence that this is where there had been a building that folks lived in and because of the how he documented the resources that were here that he found they were the same as things he's found in other slave quarters and slave properties. There are unique types of things that slaves used in their everyday life that fit that piece. And later he was able to establish that the bedroom that you can kind of see right behind me, the one story piece right behind me um, attached to the house um, called the West Wing is that building. It was just moved through a system, a roller system, and they found the marks that actually when they show her it was moved up and attached to the house early on, probably before um, or just shortly after Governor Blunt died. So it would have been done very early.